Hello YouTube, um, I wanted to make a video response to Rob Carroll Gaming. He did a video um, sort of asking what games of this current generation will more or less be remembered um, in the next 30 years. What games, because he, he he put his own video out, did his own, gave his sort of own thoughts. And uh, personally, I, I didn't agree with him. Um, he's got every right to his opinion, you know, it's his, it's his opinion, it's fair enough. But I didn't think uh, what he said was accurate about some of the games. Um, uh, maybe it's a generational thing, maybe it's because I'm a lot older. Um, you know, I've, 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 I've been around some of these games longer than he has, maybe, you know. Maybe, because this is from his point of view, you know, he's, his perception of gaming is a little bit different from mine. Um, uh, one one series that he brought up in particular that I sort of did sort of defend uh, in in the comments on on his video was Gran Turismo. Uh, in his opinion, Gran Turismo was um, uh, just another racer uh, that, according to him, didn't innovate. Um, but then after I saw, I did sort of explain to him. The, the significance of the Gran Turismo series, you know, he did admit that it wasn't a game that he was particularly um, well knowledge on. So that's fair enough, and I did I did give my reasons. But uh, for those, for the benefit of those people that don't know anything about Gran Turismo, um, it's important to note that Gran Turismo uh, was the first game of its type really to give us a wealth of options, uh, add so much details. If you're a car enthusiast, this was definitely the, the game you wanted to play back in the day. Uh, it's been going on now, what, over 15 years? And it's still considered a, a, a significant game, a franchise. Um, without Gran Turismo, there would have been no Forza. Um, you know, the, the, the game really sort of, the series defined the, the sort of, uh, uh, like it's known as, real driving simulator. It's not an arcade game, it's... It's a lot more serious than that. Um, you've got so many cars to choose from. Um, the way you can tune up your cars in, in such minute detail, it's, it's amazing. And um, admittedly myself, I haven't been playing sort of a lot of the recent um, incarnations of Gran Turismo, but I was a big fan of it back in the day. I, I still am a fan, but I just, I'm not big into races now, so I don't buy that many racing games. So that's probably why I skipped out on on the, the last Gran Turismo game, but um, it is definitely um, a landmark title, and it's, it's already been going on for over 15 years, and it's still a remembered title. So I think, in that in that regard, Rob, um, you know, um, Gran Turismo will, will be remembered down down times the series that's gone on. Uh, a couple of other uh, uh, gaming examples that I think he also brought up that he, he didn't think will be remembered in 30 years time that I disagreed with um, uh, for example uh, one that he brought up was the God of War series um, strangely Rob you sort of compared God of War to the Zelda games which I thought was really weird um, as uh, like another YouTuber whose video I saw Oz Gamer he said he said that uh, and I agree with him um, the only thing that Zelda and God of War share in common is uh, that they're both 3D games. Aside from that, they're completely different different games, and they are. Um, I'm currently playing um, Ocarina of Time, and it's nothing like God of War. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, mate. I, I, I don't I don't see the comparison aside from the fact it's like saying Mario 64 is the same game as as God of War because they're both 3D titles. But um, but in any case, um, God of War is definitely a series that I think will be remembered. It may not have innovated the same way, say, Gran Turismo did, as it was not really the first 3D hack and slash game, but it solidified the hack and slash genre. Um, it, it perfected it, and in turn spawned a lot of imitators. Um, it, it, it didn't start the hack and slash genre by any means, but it basically took that, took that game and made it into a solidified genre. Um, most most of these 3D hack and slash games um, tend to have their roots uh, more so in um, I suppose they're the the modern day equivalent 
of the side scrolling beat em ups from the arcades back in the day and whatnot. Um, because that's essentially what hack and slashes are. They're 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 beat em ups. You know, they you move into an area, you take out the enemies and you move on to the next area. I mean of course the three D gameplay sort of allows for more things, more puzzles and and stuff of that nature. So it, I suppose God of War for me is the um, is the culmination of of the arcade side scrolling beat 'em up, the adventure genre, games like Tomb Raider and stuff, definitely an influence to those games. And I'd probably say the survival horror genre because um, for those people that don't know, um, you know, one of the most famous hack and slash games, Devil May Cry, started out as a Resident Evil game. And it became its, it, it, a completely different beast, and then it, eventually the, the, the uh, developers decided to make it its own game. So, you know, this is how these, these sort of games started out. Um, but yeah, God of War will definitely be remembered, because it is a series that has always stood as a landmark within that particular genre. Whether you like that genre or not, it's not, really, it's not important. Um, the fact remains, within that genre, it innovates. And... That is why I think God of War will continue. Um, it has already been on one generation. We are now on the next generation and we're on our way to another generation. And the games will continue, without a doubt. It's a, it's a popular series. And the other, the last game that I wanted to address, which again Rob brought up, uh, was the Uncharted series. Um, I have been floored. I'm perfectly honest with you. This generation, this is coming from someone that started out with 8-bit gaming. I've played get, I played all these systems up until now, and I will have to say that this generation, as well as the last generation, but these, what really has amazed me about these games is the story, the immersion of story that they've been able to bring to these games. Because obviously during the 8-bit and 16-bit era, our story was very limited. I mean, in the 8-bit systems, you had a game like Ninja Gaiden, for example, which was amazing to me because it was the first game uh, that I had seen that had cutscenes that tried to establish a mood, a setting, and tell a story. You know, I mean, most games in those days would maybe have a little bit of text, and that was it, but Ninja Gaiden went the extra mile and actually had a little bit of cutscenes as well thrown in. So that, to me, was amazing. I'd never experienced a game like that before, even though at that time my mind was not about thinking these games immerse me in stories. And you know, of course, you know, during the 16-bit era, um, not a lot of games took advantage of story. Um, you know, I think you've got RPGs, but I, was, I wasn't a fan of RPGs back then, so I was not really into that particular genre. But in terms of other games, you know, generally the storyline consisted of a bit of text on a screen maybe, and the rest of the story you had to find out by reading the manual. Um, you know, it wasn't until really the 32-bit era when games like Resident Evil and Silent Hill started coming about where story became a bit more important. Um, and of course, uh, Metal Gear Solid was another defining game as well in terms of story. And that, of course, continued onto the PlayStation 2 and in turn the PlayStation 3. So I will say that these games have innovated and have amazed me. But if we're talking about Uncharted specifically... Again, you know, Uncharted essentially is a Tomb Raider game. It's it, it's derived from the sort of like a Tomb Raider adventure style series, uh, and what they did was they perfected the gameplay, made it its own thing pretty much, and it is definitely uh, um, uh, an innovative series. Uh, in my particular opinion, uh, Uncharted Two is the pinnacle of that series. Uh, Uncharted One, you know, great game as it was still had its flaws, which is fine, it's the first game in the series, the developers need time to perfect it. In my opinion, they kind of did that with the second game. And the third game is kind of more of the same, so it's not really innovating as much, but I think the series as a whole is de definitely um, a series that will be remembered, as I'm sure that as we move on to the PlayStation 4, we will see another Uncharted game. And these games will be remembered, I'm sure it's going to carry on for another 10 years or so, 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 you know, in 10 years' time, we'll, we will still be talking about the Uncharted series. Um, and I'm confident that it will go on for to be remembered for 30 years down the line. Um, so that's it. That is my video response to Rob Carroll. Rob, uh, thank you very much for the video. Uh, I know your video was uh, quite a controversial video. Not a lot, not a lot of people 
didn't agree with you. We not, even I didn't agree with you, mate. Um, but you know what? You're entitled to your opinion. Um, you know, whether your views are considered controversial or not, that's it's your opinion. You know, you're, you're entitled to them. Um, I think what's good about YouTube and these videos is that it allows us, it, it applies, you know, it's a, it's a forum for us to discuss these topics. Um, we don't always have to agree. Um, obviously, your point of view on games could be different from my point of view. And uh, this is how we learn off each other. So uh, I'm not trying to say that I know everything, but you know, like we all, that's how we learn from each other is that we, we gain knowledge from our perspectives. But thank you very much, uh, Rob, for the, for the video. And um, I'm glad that I was able to do a video response. Um, so that's it. Thank you very much, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Sorry if I, uh, if I dragged it on too long, but uh, I did want to sort of get my points out there. Uh, I will be back very soon, so uh, stay tuned for that. And um, yes, thank you very much. Bye-bye.